Yo, yo, yo. Hey guys, it's Pop and Jacques Slade here. Back with another unboxing. And today we've got two, not one sneaker, but two sneakers that I think you guys should definitely check out. This first one, it actually releases this weekend. This bottom one, well, that one doesn't release at all. But this first one, I'm gonna be able to give away to one of you guys, but you have to stay tuned to the video to learn how you can actually win this sneaker. So with that being said, let's start with the one on top. So the first shoe is from a segment of shoes that are made popular by pop culture, if that makes any sense to you guys. This is, my friends, the Air Jordan 13. He got game. So for those of you that are familiar with He Got Game, He Got Game is a movie that came out in the 90s and it starred Denzel Washington and this unknown basketball player named Ray Allen. These are the shoes that Denzel actually wore in the movie and Jordan Brand releases them every once in a while and allows you to relive the He Got Game moments per se. So as you can tell, the model is very distinct, has this white upper with the tumbled leather, has tumbled leather here at the toe as well with black. And then here on the outsole, for those that don't know about the Air Jordan 13, it was inspired by a paw print. That's why it's shaped that way. Basically, Tinker Hatfield said Jordan played like a, a stealthy cat, like a black cat, basically. And so this paw print was kind of his way of adding that to the design. Uh, I actually had a chance to talk with Tinker about this shoe, about the Air Jordan 13. And one of the things that he was saying is that he had this idea of Jordan being cat-like on the court, um, but when he introduced the idea to Jordan, Jordan stared at him for a second just because his, his friends actually used to call him Black Cat and Tinker didn't know that. So just kind of like the marriage of like Jordan's personal life and I guess you could call it his work life, which was basketball. And like those two married together, Tinker was perceptive enough to actually see those two things, which is pretty dope. Big shout out to Tinker Hatfield. Uh, so last details, few details on these. Here they have like this new buck here at the bottom. It's really, really soft and trails around. It goes all the way around the shoe from the medial side all the way to the lateral side. Very nicely done. Uh, you know they have the prints here on the upper. And then the detail that most people kind of overlook is the Jordan logo here. So this was inspired by the eyes of a cat. You know how sometimes the eyes of a cat, they're like translucent and they can kind of change based on the light. So they have that same sort of of, um, they have that same sort of effect happening here on the, uh, I guess the heel. I don't know what you would call this. I guess just the logo. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the proper term of that is. I just, just that, that, like the logo there. On the tongue, they have black with the red Jumpman logo, which looks really nice, kind of pops a lot. And then inside on the liner, they have just regular black uh, insoles with the red Jordan logo there. Last pop of Jordan right there on the tongue, which is a very nice touch. Overall, very good looking shoe. Again, these released this weekend. They're gonna be $190 if you wanna get a pair. Okay, so for those that are interested, I'm actually going to be giving away this exact pair of shoes this weekend. This weekend is SneakerCon here in Los Angeles and Jordan Brand was nice enough to send me this pair to give away to you guys. I'm unboxing them here on this channel, but really, the the point of it is to let you guys know that this is a bit of a giveaway. How do you win? Basically, all you have to do is come up to me at SneakerCon this weekend if you're going to be in Los Angeles and tell me the name of the other shoe that I unbox in this video and this pair is yours that easy you don't have to click any links or do anything basically you just have to be in los angeles and you have to go to sneaker con la and that's the way you're going to win i'm not going to ship them out the only way you can get them is if you see me at sneaker con in los angeles so good luck to all of you out there that'll be at sneaker con this weekend uh hopefully you can win this pair this is a size eight just so you know so uh hopefully you wear a size eight uh, otherwise you just win a pair of shoes that you can't wear which is weird but you know i guess to each his own anyway all right let's get to the other pair because this pair is super exclusive it's never released and i've only seen it online like twice so i don't know if they're even in production where other people actually have them so this is one of the most exclusive shoes that i've ever had so give me one second yo so 
This is the shoe that you all have been waiting for. It's super, uh, I, I don't like saying it's super exclusive because I feel weird making it seem like I have something that's so cool because it's not that I have something that's so cool. It's just that I really want to give you guys an opportunity to see this shoe because I'm really excited about it because it's the shoe that I personally like. This is the Air Jordan 3. It's the first shoe that Tinker Hatfield ever designed for Michael Jordan. Uh, it's the first shoe to use elephant print. So every time you see elephant print on a basketball shoe, this shoe shoe was the inspiration for that or I should say the design on this shoe was the inspiration for that the Air Jordan 3 has spawned a bunch of different shoes from the outsole of the Air Jordan 3 to the upper of the Air Jordan 3 you've seen all of those shoes show up in different designs and inspire different designs but this shoe right here is something pretty pretty crazy and um, i'm really excited that i have it here on my table so without further ado let's get right into it and take a look here same regular jordan box as you get with any air jordan 3 but there is a tag here this is a promo tag here so i guess that kind of gives it away that this is a promo pair of shoes that as i was told has no plans of going to retail as of right now or as of this unboxing there is no plan for the shoe to go to retail but with that being said let's get into it and here you go take a look at that that is a beautiful shoe let me get the other one out of here man oh man this is exciting so this is the air jordan 3 georgetown now these shoes again uh this is a player exclusive the there is no plan for these to hit retail but i wanted to give you guys a quick look at these and show you some of the details uh of the design so obviously has the same air jordan bottom but it's the upper that really changes it uses that hoya gray it has elephant print here at the toe elephant print here on the eyelets kind of like the true blue air jordans and then they have the big georgetown logo there on the tongue and you see they use the same sort of navy dark blue here around the heel and then they have the elephant print and then they have the jordan logo there uh with the air instead of like the nike logo then on the eyelets here you can see on the eyelets here they have the pops of blue and it's interesting that these actually come with a nike air hang tag as well which is very nice touch but that's not where everything stops here. There's a lot more details to this. And this is what I really love when Jordan Brand and Nike, when they really get to do like these player exclusives for school, they add their own little details to it to really kind of complete the package of the shoe. So if you actually look inside here, and actually I'm just gonna tear this out so you guys can get a good look at it. This, these shoes have special insoles with the, the Kente cloths from the Hoyas. So if you know about the Hoyas and like the colors that they use on their jerseys, that the patterns that they use on the jerseys rather, this is that same sort of pattern. They have it here on the insoles of the shoes and that shows up on both of the shoes. But then it goes a step further, I actually believe that out of here. If you look at the back of the heel, this one, this is the right shoe. Yeah, the right shoe. At the back of the right shoe, it says basketball here on the reverse of the tongue, which is a very nice touch. But then on the other shoe, hold on, let me get this out here. Take out this insole here. You see that it says Hoyas. So I guess if you put them together, it says Hoyas. Hoya's basketball, which is a very nice touch. Now, again, I haven't seen these pairs in the public anywhere. I know some pictures of these showed up on Instagram a little while ago, and that's where people first kind of got their, their uh, that's got notice of them. This was back in March, I believe, and then May, some more pictures showed up, but this is the first time that I've actually seen them in person, and they're actually my size, but I don't know if I should wear these or not. This, this These are pretty, exclusive and I feel like this is something that I should kind of just put up as kind of like in a case like a pair of sneakers that I just don't wear uh, big shout out to Jordan brand I uh, appreciate you guys actually sending these over so let's do just a quick look again so we have the Georgetown Hoyas Air Jordan 3 with the gray and then the navy and then it has the Georgetown logo on the tongue the special elephant print here on the eyelets that kind of reminds us of the true blue and then we also have 
he got games that I'm actually going to give away. Uh, so if you want these, you know what to do. I already talked about this earlier in the video. Anyway, with that being said, guys, as always, I appreciate you. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Hoyas Air Jordan 3 player exclusive. This is the He Got Game Air Jordan 13. As always, guys, I appreciate you. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. But if you really, really like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you turn on your notifications. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.